everybody welcome back to another video so if you guys watched my tiger shark video the one where the tiger shark ate all of my fish you know that i was trying to do a catch and cook that i was really excited to show you guys but obviously because the shark ate all my fish i was unable to do it so i went diving again a couple days later and i went out with the intention of getting some fish to complete that catch and cook and here's a little bit of how that went So as you guys just saw, I got those two really nice sized Beke Nono and they were perfect for the catch and cook that I wanted to do. So I filleted them up, but uh, at the last minute somebody asked me for some fish and I wanted to give some fish to this person. And so I gave them the Beke Nono and once again, I was unable to do the catch and cook. So I went diving again just recently uh, with my friend Race and Hunter and Hunter's friend Kavai and we were able to get some really nice fish and i was able to do that catch and cook so i hope you guys enjoy remember if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button really helps out the channel a lot and i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and try it out yourselves but yeah other than that i'll see you in the water shoots everybody all right guys so first fish of the day i was taking a drop because i saw a group of some good sized moana collies nothing huge just maybe like two two and a half pounds maybe but good size one so i wanted to go down and try see if i could get one and apologies in advance you'll see in a second but i don't know how this happened but my camera angle is a little bit too low and i don't know why but unfortunately for some of these clips or almost all of them you can't actually see the fish because of the bad camera angle so sorry about that in advance but back to the clip i'm on the bottom and i see them one of the Moana Collies coming in and he looks like a two pounder maybe. So he starts coming in and I see a couple of his friends there, but he was the biggest. So I line up and take my shot. Not that great of a shot, kind of mid body, but because goatfish have such soft meat, it kind of tore through him a little bit quickly and almost ripped off. But luckily he stayed on there and I was able to pull him up. Now, as I was pulling him up, I started to notice that he was way bigger 
than I initially thought when I was aiming at him. And he actually is now, now that I see him up close, now that, that I've got him in my hands, he's probably one of the biggest, if not, I think he's a, probably the second biggest Monocali I've ever shot. And he did not look like that when I was aiming down on him. But first fish of the day, beautiful Monocali. So after that, I was swimming in some deeper water. This is around 65 feet. And I had a decent sized uku come up to me while I was on the surface. So I'm trying to go down here and dive bomb him. So I'm just flashing the squid fingers and grunting, trying to get him to come back. And he keeps coming in and then turning back around, coming in, turning back around. So on one of his approaches, I line up turns around take a Hail Mary shot and I thought I missed here but I actually ended up splitting his tail and you'll see why or you'll see that soon once I actually land him so I tracked him down I saw him go into you see him right there go into this hole so now he's in the hole he pops right back out I try and line up get a bad shot because he was at a weird angle and he ends up ripping off i just shot him right through his skin and that was super easy to rip shot and of course he ripped it off and started swimming away but i was able to track him down again after this now i wasn't recording when this happened but i found him holed up once again tucked up against the back of this cave like a kind of like a pananu or uhu when they're sleeping and he was tucked up against the back of the cave, so I just lined up, put one more shot in, and finally sealed the deal. Had to shoot this guy three times to finally land him. But eventually I got him. It was kind of weird, you know, shooting a uku in a hole. You know, usually ukus don't hang out in caves like that. But I guess since he was injured, he was trying to look for places to hide. And instead of swimming away, he decided to, you know, hold up. You can see his tail is split there. That's where I hit him on the first shot. And I thought I missed, but just skimmed him in the tail. Back in the dive, what you got, Race? Got a decent sized Kahala. <sighs> yeah, you. That's something. Bro, how's this calm? Oh. One of the, definitely close to the biggest one I ever shot. Biggest one I ever seen. Longer than your elbow. <laughs> hey, try hold this. Mm. That is a dozer. Nice. Got miso.
right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, really nice size Moana Kali. Definitely one of the biggest Kali's I've ever shot. I think it's probably the second biggest Kali I've ever shot. Uh, I shot a really, uh, really nice size one with Spencer on the Big Island about a year ago, but still a really nice size Kali. And it's been a while since I shot a Uku and Race got that nice Kahala. And uh, Kavai and Hunter actually got a really nice Uku that got eaten by Galapagos. So uh, that was a little bit, you know, a little rough, but you know, still came out of the water with some nice fish and i was able to do the catch and cook that i've been wanting to show you guys for a while and i hope you guys enjoyed um but yeah that's all i got for you guys today and i'll see you in the next one shoots everybody <laughs>